In these clips, we see the new P-47N models from the 414th Fighter Group taxiing and flying from their base on Iwo Jima. The main reason Iwo Jima was captured was to provide a base for long-range fighter escorts for the B-29 bombers attacking the Japanese home islands. It was expected the modified P-47s would be available to provide B-29 escort. This model was specifically designed with features to optimize its long-range capabilities during B-29 escort missions. The N model Thunderbolts only participated in one B-29 escort mission where 160 P-47Ns escorted 245 B-29s to firebomb the Japanese city of Iwata. The intent of this video is to review the P-47N model's modifications and the P-47's role and performance during its escort mission. The September 29, 1944, 20th Air Force memo titled Air Bases for Fighter Escort outlines a request to capture Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima will be used by the 7th Air Forces to provide fighter escort during B-29 missions. The new long-range P-47N model should be available to equip three fighter groups by January 1945. Priority of the P-47N model should be given to supporting 21st Bomber Command's escort needs. This article from a November 1944 Assistant Chief of Air Staff Intelligence document describes a P-47N model. Features are incorporated into the model extending the Thunderbolt's range to provide long-range B-29 escort. The fuselage is the same as a D model, but the wing is longer and the main gear is mounted further outboard to give more stability. The wing carries 100 gallons more fuel. The wingspan increased 18 inches from the D model. Total fuel capacity increased to give a combat radius of around 1,200 miles. The new turbocharger will give the plane a critical altitude above 30,000 feet. The P-47N model has more range than any other fighter model. This image shows the older P-47D model next to the new long-range P-47N model. The wingtip shape differences are a tell as to the older D versus the newer N. View looking down with the N squared off wingtips. Head on and side view of the N model. P-47 model cutaway with a list of the 10 new features incorporated. This page shows the P-47N's fuel system and capacities from a 1945 P-47N pilot training manual. Internal main fuel tank can hold 270 gallons. Internal auxiliary tank 100 gallons. Internal wing tank 90 gallons per side. External belly tank 110 gallons. And external wing tank at 165 gallons per side for a total fuel capacity of 990 gallons. Other end model features to increase its long range performance include a more powerful engine, wing fuel, electronic controls, autopilot system, homing radio, tail warning radar, and additional equipment to reduce pilot fatigue. This page from an April 1945 Air Intelligence Weekly Digest describes additional characteristics of the new Thunderbolt. Range is over 1,000 miles with a top speed of 450 miles per hour. The Pratt & Whitney R2800 C-Series engine provides 100 more takeoff horsepower. Improved turbocharger and water injection provides more power than the D model. The wings area increased by 22 square feet. Internal fuel volume nearly doubled from the D model. Aileron area increased, enhancing the plane's maneuverability. Since the plane is designed for long-range combat, features were incorporated to increase pilot comfort like automatic controls, folding rudder pedals to increase legroom, and an improved seat with added armrests. This table evaluates the combat radius of the P-47N model to the proposed P-51H model from a June 5, 1945 20th Air Force's weekly newsletter. The P-51H model never saw combat during World War II. Ranges for both models are roughly equivalent. The combat radius of action for the P-47N model equates to 1,075 miles when equipped with a 110-gallon belly tank and two 165-gallon wing tanks. This chart from a 1944 AAF Evaluation Board document lists a combat radius of various fighter models. The P-47D model with 670 gallons of fuel has a combat radius of 575 miles. We can add the P-47N model's 1,075 mile combat radius when filled with 990 gallons of fuel. This combat range is farther than any of the other fighters listed.
The fuel burn of the P47N model is slightly higher than the P47D model, as shown on this table representing the 7th Air Force's P47's fuel burn per hour based on month and year. The P47D model consumed 112 gallons per hour during the month of March 1945, whereas the P47N model consumed 117 gallons per hour, a 4.5% difference. The N model's range is accounted for by its extra fuel capacity, not by an increase in fuel efficiency. The fuel consumption of the P-47N model is 69% higher than the P-51D model at 106 versus 60 gallons per hour, as defined on this chart from a 7th Fighter Command on Iwo Jima document. Now let's review the N model's Thunderbolt's combat performance during its B-29 escort duty mission. No P-47N saw combat in the European theater. This map shows the state of Japanese-controlled territories as of August 1st, 1945, from a World War II Atlas document. There were four P-47N fighter groups deployed in the Pacific. Three fighter groups, the 318th, 413th, and 507th, were deployed on Okinawa, and a single P-47N group, the 414th, was deployed on Iwo Jima. This map shows the Allied airfields on Okinawa from a June 1945 document on Pacific bases. The three P-47N fighter groups were stationed here on the island of Iyashima. This island is the location where war correspondent Ernie Pyle died. This 1945 Operation Olympic Plan map shows fighter ranges from Okinawa. The distances from the P-47N bases are shown as 500, 800, and 1,000 miles. The P-47's range extends to Tokyo. The one and only time P-47s escorted B-29 bombers occurred on August 8, 1945, when 160 Okinawan-based P-47Ns escorted 245 B-29 bombers sent to firebomb the Japanese city of Iwata. Iwata is located on the northern tip of Kyushu, around 550 miles from the P-47 base, well within the P-47N's combat radius of 1,075 miles. This map from an August 8, 1945, 21st Bomber Command Tactical mission report shows the route of the 245 bombers highlighted. The target is located here. The 160 P-47Ns departed from Okinawa here to rendezvous with the 245 B-29 bombers at around 10 in the morning. The bombers' air-sea rescue vessel locations are shown on this map. The air-sea rescue vessels consisted of submarines, surface vessels like destroyers, and aircraft. A summary of the Thunderbolts escort support is listed on this page. The 318th, 413th, and 507th fighter groups provided 151 P-47 escorts over the target. Five P-47s were lost. 55 to 65 enemy fighters were sighted. 13 enemy aircraft were claimed destroyed. Two more were probably destroyed and six damaged, all engagements while on escort duties. In addition, the P-47s destroyed a locomotive and damaged four passenger rail cars. A total of 34,353 rounds of 50 caliber ammo was expended during the mission, or around 228 rounds per Thunderbolt. The P-47 rendezvous with the bombers was to plan. They provided effective escort to and from the target. The escorts were effective in stopping fighter interception with the bombers. These interceptions seem stronger, though, than in recent engagements. It is likely the Japanese did not expect escorts, which is why they sent fighters to intercept the bombers. This page describes the aerial engagements and circumstances of the P-47 losses. The 318th Fighter Group's 44 P-47s indicated that Japanese were trying to lure the escorts away from the bombers. The Japanese seemed undisciplined and not coordinating their tactics. The P-47s were firing mutually supported 90-degree deflection shots, rear shots, and while in steep dives. The circumstances of four out of the five P-47 losses include... Captain Henley bailed out of his P-47, cause unknown. A rescue was being attempted. Flight Officer J.B. Hill bailed out over the target, cause unknown. Lieutenant Kempner bailed out and was last seen in his life raft. A rescue was being attempted. Lieutenant Marvin bailed out. An arriving sub in Dumbo found only his life jacket. One B-29 ditch. Two P-47s orbited this location until running low on fuel. A Dumbo was on the way. 
observations from the 413 Spider Group's 54 P-47s include rendezvous occurred as scheduled. All P-47s attacked the Japanese fighters from the rear at a high closing speed. Enemy pilots did not seem aggressive or experienced. Observation from the 507 Spider Group's 53 P-47s include the enemy tried to draw off the escorts. Flight officer Paul Lin was seen in a spin and crash landed in the water. No parachute was seen. This page summarizes enemy fighter attacks from the bomber's perspective. One B-29 was shot down by enemy fighters. The P-47 escorts provided the bomber substantial protection. B-29 gunners claimed two enemy fighters. Japanese fighters made 53 attacks on the bombers. 10 to 20 of the attacks where fighters drop phosphorus bombs on the bombers. P-47s forced them to release their bombs too soon to be effective. Phosphorus bomb attacks against bombers were covered in this channel's video. These attacks were not considered effective. Many enemy fighter attacks were broken up by the thunderbolts. The mission was successful as the bombers burned 1.22 square miles of Iwata's built-up area, 1.12 square miles of urban, and 0.1 square miles of industrial. For comparison, the second atomic bomb destroyed 1.8 square miles of Nagasaki from this 1946 USSBS atomic bomb effects document table. In summary, the P-47N model Thunderbolts were designed as a long-range bomber escort. They only participated in a single escort mission in World War II, which is not enough combat experience to adequately evaluate their performance. If you found this P-47N model review and escort case study deep dive interesting and informative, please consider supporting the channel by commenting, liking, and or subscribing to World War II U.S. Bombers.